Tory leadership candidate Kemi Badenoch uh, is part of the final six in the leadership contest after securing 40 votes in the first round. However, some left-wing activists have suggested that voting for the former Equalities Minister would harm the fight for racial equality. Have a listen to this. Kemi Badenoch, a minister of this government, the minister of equalities of this government, just said that it's against the law to teach children about white privilege. Which means it's against the law to teach children that systemic racism against people who are not white exists. Let's speak with Femi, Femi Oluwele, campaigner and political commentator. Femi, good afternoon to you. Afternoon. Um, yeah, talk to me about that. To, to educate a white man on this, if you would, please, because I'm seeing a lot of people, non-white people, uh, who seem far more animated about people like Kemi and others, but particularly Kemi, maybe because she was the Equalities Minister, uh, really losing their shizzle over this, when, from an outside perspective, I'd have thought, hang on a second, come on, Femi, we've spoken dozens of times... We, we want to see more diversity. Here's a young black woman doing incredibly well, got to ministerial level. Surely you should be celebrating Kemi, not attacking her. So a lot of the criticism seems to be implying that, oh, why are you so angry? I mean, she's black. What more do you want? Why aren't you happy? You should be happy there's a black person. As if her policies don't count. As if who she is as a person doesn't count. And that itself, the fact that you would overlook our complaints about her policies and focus purely on her skin color is itself kind of a problem. We're talking about privilege here. She says that it's illegal to teach kids that white, white privilege is a fact. Now, there's lots of different types of privilege. There's male privilege. I have male privilege. There's middle class privilege. I probably have male, middle class privilege because of my parents. But somehow white privilege just seems to be this one, the one privilege that people seem to get all up in arms about. It's a matter of fact. The, the government's own recent race report says that if you've got a black sounding name or an Asian sounding name or Middle Eastern sounding name, you have to send more job, job applications to get a call back. Oxford University did the same study, said that if you've got a Nigerian name like mine, you have to send 80% more job applications to get a call back. So the, you know that your ability to get money in the UK passes through that filter of racism. And if you are white, you don't face that challenge. Doesn't mean that white people don't face challenges in general, but that is, but being white is not something that holds you back. In fact, it is something that means you have a benefit over other people, people from other, other ethnicities. Now, for, for Kevin Badenoch, a minister of the government, to say that it's illegal to teach facts, facts that not only, facts, by the way, she, as a member of the government, her government has put out those facts. So those are her government's own facts, yet she's censoring that being taught in schools that's really troubling. Let's. It's worth having a listen, Femi, and I'm sure you you, you would agree, just to, to put it all into context, because I, I think we're probably... She, she may have said these things more than once, but let's, famously she did have a, uh, a, a bit of a monologue at the dispatch box when she talked about critical race theory and white privilege. Here's Kemi Badenoch when she was Equalities Minister. However, what we are against is the teaching of contested political ideas yeah. as if they are accepted facts. We don't do this with communism, we don't do this with socialism, we don't do it with capitalism. And I want to speak about a dangerous trend in race relations that has come far too close to home to my life. And it is the promotion of critical race theory, an ideology that sees my blackness as victimhood and their whiteness as oppression. I want to be absolutely clear, this government stands unequivocally against critical race theory. Yeah. The, some schools have decided to openly support the anti-capitalist Black Lives Matter group often fully aware that they have a statutory duty to be politically impartial. Black lives do matter, of course they do. But we know that the Black Lives Matter movement, capital B-L-M, is political. Uh, so there's what she said, and then the, the, the white privilege thing, Femi, came on the back of that. Um, I, I can't really say anything wrong with that. I mean, critical race theory and these other sort of fringe ideologies that you probably support, she doesn't support. Uh, Th that's a difference, isn't it? And that's what she's highlighting, that all the while these are d opinions as distinct from firm, intelligent facts, then they're open for debate and shouldn't be taught as fact in school. So as I explained in my video, what she does is to deliberately mix it up with critical race, th race theory, which has things such as inherited racial guilt, defunding, defunding the police, that sort, those sorts of topics come up there, and those do deserve 
um, different opinions, different sides, and, and, and discussing, discussing the different sides, because th those aren't fact, those are viewpoints and strategies as to how to deal with systemic racism. However, what I just explained about how if you have a black sounding name or a Middle Eastern sounding name or an Asian sounding name, you have to send more job applications to get a, to get a call back. That is a matter of fact. Oxford University that study. They not not for everybody, but for some people that clearly is demonstrably a fact. But it is for, a, it for, is for, a for fact. others, it, it won't be. It is a fact across the country because it, the studies have been repeated multiple times. That doesn't mean I have. Times. That doesn't mean I have privilege because of that. It means that that your race will never hold you back when you apply for apply for. But a lots job. of so other things might hold me back. I mean, some yes. places might hold me back now because I'm white. Because they might say, actually, we want more diversity, so we're not picky. I know it's a slightly on, nuanced point, but so you take it. On our, if we're talking about on the, the, the Oxford University study, they sent out three thousand two hundred mm. uh, applications, changing only the name to various sectors of the UK yeah, economy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. And, of they, that. and they found that on average. You have to send 80% more job okay. applications to get a call back if you have a black sounding name. But if you so, so, so easy, so even if you can, of okay. course, with every single issue, there are going to be statistical outliers. Uh, of course, gonna, there you're are. not going to say that because some um, short people are good at basketball. That means that being back, being short is a benefit in basketball. But it do, but no. it doesn't mean. I mean, Kemi's point, I, as I understand it, when I listened to that speech, was that just to talk as a catch-all phrase, white privilege is in itself not good enough in schools. And isn't the real problem here, Femi, that actually what's really boiling your spuds yeah. is that you have a black conservative doing rather well. Um, we could apply that to other non-white contenders, Soella Braverman in the mix as well, Nadim Zahawi, till he was knocked out, and others in the Conservative Party. Isn't that what really riles you? So just to refer to your, your, your first point about um, uh, Kemi saying about, um, white privilege, she's saying you can't teach that as a fact, as it's explained that it is yeah. a fact. Is well, a well no, you can't just about, say about, about, there is white about, privilege and then move on. That, that's it. You can't teach it as a political view, I think is her, her reason. Does, 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 does middle class privilege exist? Say again? Does, does middle, middle class, class privilege, privilege exi exist? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't descri describe it as middle class privilege, no. Wait, so, so people who are middle class don't have any benefits and don't uh, statistically... Well, you might, have earned, you might have earned some benefits because you have a bit more money, quite possibly. But she's arguing okay. she's arguing you so, wouldn't be teaching that either. Because these, well, these are very these are political points, and the classroom isn't the place to politicise. I appreciate your biding time while you think of a clever you're answer you're teaching, to my actual teaching, question, Femi. Why you're teaching are about, you so annoyed about a black woman being it's successful? Te it's teaching about the reality of the society we live in, and that should not be banned in class. And as, I, for I, your I, as for your point about a black woman, black woman yeah. in politics... Because that's what's done again, it for you, isn't it? This, 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 this is, is killing you, Femi. This is again my point. I point, I point to her policies, the things she said and the problems with what she said, and you, you, Ian, are focusing purely on her skin colour, not me. No, not that purely. That more about not you purely. Than but, me. but hang on a second. Look, it would take you nothing normally to come out of the hatches, Femily, uh, Femi, and support somebody uh, because of the colour of their skin. You would look at somebody and talk about inadequacies and inequalities, and I totally get that. Uh, I would have thought applying the same kind of mindset you would at the very least be looking at this and thinking here we have a Wait, sorry, here what? we have a comp contest for the leader of our country and 50 percent 50 percent count them femi 50 percent mm -hmm. are non-white in your I'm, world in the left you ain't got anywhere near that place right now you can't I'm, even I'm, get I'm a just, high just, profile just, woman on the labor okay, front okay, bench start, let alone start, a non-white one for start for start is what you said at the start about how it would take me nothing to come out in favor of somebody because of their skin color i have no idea what you even meant by that well if that needs explaining then we'll we'll park that one move to the next bit okay um as as for the the diversity on the on the ben on the benches of, uh, of of the Conservative Party, yes, they are using that as as you yourself are using as the Conservatives really say we're the most diverse cabinet, blah blah blah. They use that because it's useful to them. If you, I mean, the United Nations. So they're not there the on merit. People aren't the there on merit. The, uni the United Nations have have said that the the Tory race report was an attempt to normalise white supremacy. B Boris Johnson. Any, anyone that read you talking about the Tony Bo Sewell report. In that case, somebody Allow would have to, to be absolutely bonkers. Allow me to finish my point. Allow me to finish my point. White supremacy. Uh, Bo 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 Boris, Boris Johnson himself has said the problem in Africa is that we're not in charge anymore. And so we have the United Nations saying that this government is actively seeking to normalize white supremacy. Now, the reason they, they said that, their rationale was, 
in that in their own race report, they acknowledge the fact yeah. that if you ha if you're black or if you're or from Middle Eastern or if you're Asian, you you have a disadvantage. Well, well Tony Sewell's report, which I think is the one you're referring to, Femi, also yeah, yes, acknowledge, yes, it also yes, acknowledges yes, racism. Yes. It doesn't dispute yeah, no, 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 that no. in any shape or form. If, you, if you've it's read it, come on, let's point? give give Can I give Kemi give Kemi Ian, some credit Ian, here, Femi. Point? Ian, you're you're, you're tangenting on me, Femi. Ian. Ian, can You're tangenting. You got Ian. twenty seconds. Ted. So in in that race report, it acknowledged the, the systemic racism against against people, but said that it might not be racism because it might just be because the employer assumes that people from, a, from ethnic minorities are of a lower class. I have to step in. No other reason than time, Femi. Let's speak again. This is Talk TV.